So I'm off to the bloody Sunshine Coast today in the uh, in the old LTD. Been sitting in a barn for 10 years and now I got it out and gonna expect it to make it all the way. So thought I might make a little video out of it and um, and yeah, just a video to get out there today. It's the longest trip it's been on. I haven't been past the Hoey Moey in this. So I haven't been past the jetty, I suppose, from Coffs from my house. So uh, we're gonna see how it goes. I've done a bit of work on it. I did some radiator hoses and a viscous fan and stuff, and a thermostat and whatever, and a fuel pump and tires and a hectic sticker. So um, yeah, I called in at work before, we, before I'm bloody heading off. I got some uh, some head gaskets <laughs> and uh, yeah, away we go. We're gonna uh, we're gonna document the trip, see how we go. It's gonna be sick. <laughs> Right, so I've got all my bags of shit in the back there. I've got merch in the back, I've got two, a big toolbox. Because um, I ain't breaking down. And if I do, I'll be able to fix it. This car is awesome. I love this thing. No aircon, but I'm still a fan nonetheless. I, I love it. My first trip in this, this old turd. Um, obviously, as I said, I'm going to Caboolture. But tomorrow, which is Thursday, I'll be heading down to Power Cruise and then Friday, Saturday, obviously at Power Cruise as well, come home Sunday. And I won't be at Power Cruise Sunday, I'm just coming straight home. So going to do that and uh, hopefully this thing makes it home, but I'm just more concerned about making it up there to start with. I don't know where I'll post this video tomorrow or I'll post it on Monday when I get back from Power Cruise. I don't know, there's gonna be heaps of content because I'm not going up to, to put this on the track. I'm going this i'm just driving this car um but i i'm going to do some filming and get some videos and stuff for mr mullet and whatnot so should be good nonetheless i've been looking forward to this for ages gonna, it's gonna have a fat time that's what i've been focused and i haven't done many videos because i've been getting this thing ready to go away but um she's now ready i did a viscous fan hub i don't trust it i did a uh, another couple of hoses, a thermostat, and a couple of seals, and a header tank. Uh, just because there wasn't anything wrong with them, I was just making sure. Realistically, I should have done a water pump too, but I didn't. Anyway, didn't have time. First new set of tyres on it, and a hectic sticker up the sides, mate, either side. It's bloody it's sick. Temperature gauge is staying there, not moving. So it could be broken. But um, this whole no aircon thing, it's gonna be the death of me. Ugh. I, um, yeah, I've had my windows down, it's not a problem, but bloody hell, it's still freaking hot. Ugh. I'm gonna sit in traffic later. That's the update, that's where we are. Nothing to report, sort of. But I've got Slim Dusty here to keep me company. Duncan is me, mate. Uh, Duncan is me, my friend Duncan. He's a good, a good mate of mine. Duncan and Donna. Diesel. Shout out to Duncan and Donna and uh, Diesel. The dog. Ah, gotcha, see? That's how quick it can happen. Nah, uh, we're good. So we're, we're pulling in, we're coming out to Ballina and uh, Ballina Servo. We're going to pull in, we'll put some fuel in it. And uh, and check the oil and water and stuff. Water's good. Oil's good. Anything else? That's all I can check. But uh, yeah, I left the engine cover off because it's too hard to get on and off in case it does break down. So that's what we're doing. All right. So I stopped. We got fuel. I'm just still at Ballina. I uh, checked. Yeah, obviously we checked the oil. I don't know if I put that in the video or not because my finger was over the friggin' what's he? like I rest on mum for, but I put $53 of, uh, of fuel in this bad boy, and I'm going to have to do some maths later, it's, no, no, here we go, it's right here, 23 litres, 
So I used a bit over a jerry can between here and Uranga. Hard on your horses. Oh, so much power for me, mate. Tell you what, this isn't this is this is not a fast car just because it's got the V8 in it. It is not fast. So new update. Uh, I'm just currently on the Gateway Motorway. I haven't gone over the bridge yet, but I have run out of brakes. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to stop. There is nowhere to stop. Uh, uh, so my, my problem is, get over. So I've been taking it real easy. I've been staying a long way from cars because I still do have a little bit of brakes. But I'm starting to think, it's been on the road for so bloody long, uh, the brake fluid's boiled, uh, it's aerated. There's still a little bit of brakes there. Um, but why that's happened, I do not know. So, as soon as I find somewhere to pull over, I will stop. And I'll let it cool down for a bit. And uh, hopefully that's all it is. Hopefully, I haven't done a master cylinder. Here we go, we're going over the gateway bridge now. Um, of all things that I did, I didn't think brakes would be an issue. Back to third. There's a bit of engine braking, mate, on the truck driver. Stay in the right four lanes. That pedal nearly went to the floor then. So where the bloody hell is there somewhere to pull over? I can hear something squeaking on one, one of the wheels. So what it is, I do not know. There's potentially a brake locked on. Well, that could be it. There is a tiny little bit of brakes at the end, which makes me think that the brake fluid is boiled. All right. So I found a servo and I pulled in. I'm gonna get some fuel while I'm here. Not like that'll be any good to me if I can't freaking stop. I want to see if I can go into the um, servo here and get some brake fluid just to just to put in it. It is a little bit low. I'm not sure if it's sprung a leak or what. Doesn't. It? Yeah, it's weird because if that was a master cylinder, if I put my foot on the brake now, that should sink. So I actually missed a bit of footage. I, I didn't get a chance to tell you what actually happened because I was busy Snapchatting and calling people. But what had happened, I found at, at that servo. It was a left-hand rear wheel cylinder. Wheel cylinder, how, how old am I? The left-hand rear brake caliper locked on and boiled the fluid in that caliper. So that's why I ran out of brakes. The fluid was boiled and that caliper was locked on. Just enough to create, create heat. It was not like I was towing ass out of the car or anything to get it to go. It was just on a little bit. So the freaking shell at Nudgy doesn't sell bloody brake fluid for some unknown bloody reason. Um, so now I've got to go to bloody elsewhere. Apparently there's a rep car here somewhere, so I'm going to go for a drive. It's just a bit low. I'm thinking it could probably do with a bit of brake fluid. So here we go. I don't know where the bloody hell I am, but I just went past the Golden Circle factory. I'm looking for a rep car. Right, so I'm on the uh, backup camera now because my other camera ran out of storage as per freaking usual. But I may do a rep car. Did this spin around? No, made it a rep car. Got some brake fluid and a top her up. So I'm leaving Burpen, ah, Burpen Gary. I'm leaving Repco somewhere, Nudgy. I don't know where the bloody hell I am. And on my way to my destination, I put a bit of fluid in it, obviously, as you saw, and I got under the back and I just give the the handbrake a bit of a pull because like it's an integrated friggin thing it's like i'm not the only one brake down i just went past something like a dodge phoenix or a or a pontiac or something pulled over on the side of the road back there but i'm now on the bloody uh where am i gateway motorway i think going towards well it's uh 15 k's to go to my destination to on the highway now i'm gonna pull off and go through bourbon gary and shit so anyway we would pull off, so it happened. I was just sticking around 80 k's an hour, just hunting along. Feeling good. 
got onto a gentleman at uh, Caboolture somewhere uh, and he has got me a brand new uh, piston and seal kit for the uh, for the brake. So we are good to go hopefully. I'll get that in now uh, shortly and bloody away we go. Yeah, so I just went past a sign that said end brake down lane. I don't think anyone has a choice. When you're breaking down, you're breaking down and that's that. I hate that roads with, with that you can't break down on because I break down all the time obviously between this thing and freaking Valerie we need break down lanes so typically I'd put like to put like a like a nice song or something over this little time lapse but uh, everyone wants to copyright me and, and and get cranky with me so you gotta listen to me <laughs> uh, anyways uh, here we go the rest of you hello Zachary Yeah. Uh, yeah, he wouldn't have two seal kits and, and, another, and another piston there, would he? Uh, you know, yeah, just because I don't know whether the it's only the left side that's been giving me dramas, but I can hear the right side squeaking. So luckily, Zachary, my friend Zach, big guy performance parts, went and got me other parts from other shop I rang. So good things, good the things are happening. Just as I've come in to town off the highway, my brakes are squealing their head off and I've got no pedal. No brakes. This is freaking terrifying. Oh, what, the house has never sent me through the middle of the town in its life to get to Zach's house, but that's apparently where I'm going. We've got no brakes. So we got caliper kit for both sides now. I didn't trust it. I didn't know whether I should just do the side that's giving me grief or do both of them, but I have decided that I'm going to do both because uh, I, don't, I just can't trust it. So, I have no brakes whatsoever now as I'm coming up the driveway. Oh, there's a burnout. I even get hoist privileges at Zach's. How good is that? Put her up on the hoist now and have a sticky beat. Try and fix these brakes. So, hey, we got. I have two kids, mate. It's a resume. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they got me turned up on the pit at Zach's house, as, as you saw as I drove in. Um, I don't know why I've got to do, keep doing double updates and everything, but look at this. This is the side that was locked up. I've got it all pulled apart. And um, got this shitty. Handbrake scenario pulled out of it, and as you can see in here, hang on. See around here, it's all shit from where it's been sitting, and then that was where the seal was. And it's even got shit down in here, so luckily, we got the two kits. We'll buddy put them all in tonight, and um, should be right. It wasn't actually locked on that bad, like you could still turn the wheel and stuff, and the car would roll, but. I don't know. Anyway, we've got it apart now and we're going to fix it properly, and that's that. Thank you, Zachary, for getting my bits. Okay. I don't know what Dad complains about. Look how fast I'm working. Bloody oath. Uh, yeah, so I just, I was just a little bit of a time lapse of me doing the, the caliper up on the driver's side now, the one that well, I didn't think was broken, but it turned out to be more seas than the other side. So I, I don't know, but they might knew it didn't get hot. It was only the left hand side that got hot. So who knows what's going on here? There she is. It's all fixed. We finally finished it. I got it off the hoist. And me and Zachary went for a lap and we got some sushi and it was sick. And that's it. And uh, and I'm here. So yes, it, it did break down. I didn't make it all the way, but shit happens. That's it. I'm going to go now. Goodbye. Video's done.